Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another P.O. Box Pickups video slash Megalopolis unboxing video. Oh, wrong side. There we go. And I wanted to talk about Megalopolis in just a minute because there's some people that think there's like a controversy or something going on. I'm going to explain in just a minute. But first, I owe it to the viewers that sent me letters that did not get opened uh, in on camera. So what I had done was another P.O. Box Pickups video. I had actually unboxed some DC collectible stuff in that video as well, and uh, I and I lost the file. I accidentally deleted it. Is what happened. I try not to delete my own videos, man. It sucks. So what I did was I went through here and I tried to pick up as many letters as I could remember off the top of my head that I remember reading in that video. So I'm gonna try to go over all of those, and then we're gonna get into the Megalopolis stuff, which I'm very excited to show you guys very soon. Uh, first off, Adam, uh, patron Adam, sent this my way. It's another Endgame Ronin figure. Well, the only Ronin movie figure that's out there. Uh, I'd broken the right leg on mine, so I really appreciate you sending this my way, brother. Uh, he didn't need the, or he needed to keep the build a figure piece, but he did not want the figure. So thank you so much, Adam. I really appreciate it. I'm probably gonna customize the broken one, and then this will be like the official version in my collection, so thank you so much. Uh, also, uh, I want to I want to show this uh, letter right here uh, from patron Tom Bowling. Uh, he sent me this awesome I Like Ike pin, which you can see right there. Dope, 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 dope. So check this out. It says, um, hey, it says, Dear Russ, uh, during my senior year of high school in 1981, which was the same year I was born, so, sorry to age you, but I'm aging myself too. Uh, my grandmother was giving a box of costume jewelry to a church uh, white elephant sale. I found this pin in the box. Of course, I thought it was cool as hell and put it on the lapel of my leather jacket. I wore that jacket from 1981 to 1984. Besides the pin's obvious political history, it, has, it also has seen a lot of musical history since I wore it to a lot of concerts. I think these are all the concerts where I wore it. It may have missed a couple. I may have missed a couple. Anyway, here's where it has been. Check this out, okay? The Ramones, 1981, the Ritchie Coliseum. And, and all these shows are either in Maryland or in Washington, D.C., by the way. Uh, the um, uh, Wendy o. Williams and the, Pla and the Plasmatics. Uh, the Dead Kennedys, 1981, uh, Susie and the Banshees, 1981, Minor Threat, 1982, Circle Jerks, 1982, The Frickin' Misfits, 1982, Blondie, 1982, Husker Du, 1983, Talking Heads, 1983, The Frickin' Clash, 1984. When I came upon the pin uh, cleaning out my dresser last week, I immediately thought of you. I would be honored if you wore it on your own leather jacket. It deserves to be with a real musician. Excelsior, Tom Bowling. Thank you so much, Tom. I cherish this freaking thing right over here. I love this pin, man. That is too freaking awesome. Thank you so much. That is so dope, man. I mentioned he tried to warn us because during his... Um, during his exit speech, he has a very infamous exit speech talking about and warning us of the military-industrial complex, which may sound very political, but I don't see it as political because both parties are deeply involved in that, and it's like a national issue for the United States, you know what I mean? It's not a Republican, it's not a Democrat thing. Both parties are heavily entrenched in the military-industrial complex, and hopefully, uh, before I die, uh, we see it, uh, you know, get broken apart and uh, done away with, because it's very, it's it's like the worst thing I think that's happened to us, and Eisenhower tried to warn us about that on his way out. <clears throat> and I personally think it's the reason why Jim Kennedy got the little, eh, you know, but anyway, uh, hey, Shardimus, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Oh, this is from Dominic. I know I am. Now on to the core purpose of this letter. What did you think of Avengers Endgame? Oh, I loved it, man. Uh, for me, I thought it was an incredible ending to Phase 3, not to mention the fact that the ending was a giant kick to the chest and a total annihilation of my eyes and eyelids. I would like to know what your favorite scenes were. Personally, mine were Cap lifting Mjolnir and Avengers Assemble. Uh, yeah, and Giant Man, you know, like seeing that seeing Giant Man stomping through and decking the Leviathan, that was epic. He has five questions, I will answer three. We get three questions. Um... Number one, do you think that Hasbro will make a Marvel Legends Stan Lee? Well, they have before already. Uh, it was an SDCC exclusive, um, but I'm curious to know if that, you know, that leaked image that we'd seen out there is, uh, is going to get made. Now, when I asked Hasbro if you think, if they, you know, I asked them, I think a year or two ago, like, are you going to make a, a Marvel Legend on a regular human being? Who would it be? And they uh, all said Shardimus Prime. So that would be kind of epic, wouldn't it? 
but probably Stan Lee deserves it again, you know, even a second time. Uh, two, is it true that the rights to make DC figures will be taken over by McFarlane Toys? Absolutely, yeah, starting in 2020, we're, we should expect, I think, like 6.5 inch scale, fully articulated DC figures. And then three, did you watch Cobra Kai season one and two? No, I have not. I have not seen. All right, thank you so much, Dominic. And then over here we have a letter... Um, from Mike Jordan. It says, Hello, Shardimus. I've been watching your videos since I was, I think, around... Uh, oh, wait. Hello, Shardimus. I've been watching your videos since, I think, around 2015. I am 13 years old. And you inspired me to collect action figures. I think your stop motion is hilarious. Thank you so much. And I have my own YouTube channel called MJ and the SMA, where I make my own stop motion. Now, I have some questions for you. One, are you actually a fan of Cockington? Or are you making fun of his name? Cockington is K-A... K-A-K-I-N space T-T, -T, and I pronounce it cock and tit. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Is it cake and T-T? I don't know, but I pronounce it cock and tit. And, um, I mean, I like the packaging to my Hot Toys figures. I think they work on the packaging, but I'm a bigger fan of the name, to be honest with you. Uh, two, I think I already know what your answer will be, but do you think I can own a Hot Toys figure if I trust myself with it? Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the shark art. From Mike Jordan. Uh, I remember this question, and yeah, so you're uh, 13 years old, a 13 year old holding, uh, possessing a hot toy. I personally would not buy a hot toy for one of my 13 year old daughters unless I had already seen her handle a lot of other expensive figures first. So it's more on your parents over anything, but 13 years old, man. I mean, I'm 37 and I still break my hot toys, so. It's kind of, I, I, I would say, no, work your way up. You know what I mean? Like, let's see what other high-end collectibles, you know, you, you, you can get on your belt, you know? Um, but, you know, maybe one day, you know, for sure one day. Uh, Shartum Prime Venom! We are Shartum! I love it. Ah, that is awesome. Ah, thank you so much, man. That is great! And then the last letter that I have right here that I was able to remember uh, is from Braxton, who lives in Canada, and he says that I am the reason I started to collect, or that he started to collect Marvel Legends, and my first Marvel Legend was the Tech Suit Spider-Man. What was your first Legend, and I loved, wait, uh, that, man, what was your first Legend, and I love, well, my first Marvel Legend was the Series 3 Wolverine. Um, and then, uh, your review on the Hot Toys Iron Spider also, every big time, let down Spider-Man, stop motion makes me laugh out loud every time, I hope you enjoy the extra carnage, and the book and the drawing, sincerely, Braxton, thank you so much Braxton, and here's, I believe this is the comic that he sent me, thank you so much, limited Spider-Man, coo coo coo, and then, uh, we get an image of big time let down right here, with his shield, I believe that's a Devil's Dew shield, and then we also get... The carnage right over there. That is super cool. Right on. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, I promise I'm, I'm, I try not to make these mistakes, so please send your letters and artwork to P.O. Box uh, 384 Pacifica, California 94044. Um, now, uh, I wanted to talk about Megalopolis right over here. So, people have seen me promote Megalopolis, and Megalopolis is a new sponsor to this YouTube channel. You guys have mentioned, heard me mention Patreon, and that's just one angle that I need to do, you know, that I need to approach to kind of keep this channel sustainable. Uh, I need a new laptop. A lot of people mentioned they love the stop motions. I'm telling you, man, I'm not lying to you when I say this. Making the stop motions really, really hard when it takes like 20 to 30 seconds for me to transfer one image or a, gr or a small group of images into my editing software. And I have my desktop cleared out. I have an external hard drive where I move my files over to all the time. I'm, I'm responsible with my laptop. I don't leave it plugged in when I'm not using it or when it doesn't need to be charged. So I really try to kick, take care of my stuff. I've had this uh, MacBook Pro since 2013. So. If you're interested in the giveaways, because I will have a whole ton of giveaways for two, uh, for June 2019, uh, check out the Patreon. And that's another reason why I need another sponsor to help support what I do here. So big thanks to Megalopolis. If, if you're not even really interested in buying anything right now, just check out the website and take a look. That way you're actually help supporting this channel without, you know, giving me uh, any money on Patreon or anything and, and helping me out at the same time. So... If you're not for the Patreon thing, at least check out Megalopolis. Link in the link in the description below. All right, check it out. And I hope to have a new Letdowns video up uh, very soon because <clears throat> I've been working on it and it just takes freaking forever. So if you want more stop motion, 
I need better equipment to make it happen and um, yeah so hopefully uh, I can get my hands on some new uh, and then the other thing is like plugins and other stuff like that would be really awesome to have to help the channel grow and, and help the creativity come along with it so you know having a sponsor like uh, you know Megalopolis jumping on board really helps things out all right so uh, but there's nothing wrong with any of the other sponsors none of the other sponsors are going away or anything this is just an added thing okay okay so let's go ahead and crack this thing open. We have these, one thing I like, oh, we got the Overlord right over there. Got a nice sticker. And then uh, I like these packing peanuts. So they did this whole uh, survey thing where they're packing peanuts right here, actually uh, compostable, biodegradable packing peanuts. So that's very cool. I like, I like that they keep that stuff in mind. You gotta save, you gotta protect Mother Earth, you know? That's uh, from a uh, Spider-Man video game. All right, so big thanks Megalopolis for sending this my way. This is something that a lot of you have requested, and I am happy to have this in my possession. This is the Avengers Infinity War. Um, this is the De Nano Weapon Set Mark 50. So expect a review of that. I already have the other version right here, so this was not high on my radar. I wasn't really that interested in picking it up, but a lot of you guys requested that I review this, so I'm very lucky that Megalopolis was able to send this so that I can review it for you guys. So that is awesome. I like that thumbnail, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let's see what else we got. Oh, man. Yes, something else I know a lot of you guys want to see. Ooh, this looks cool. This is the NECA Toys Godzilla King of the Monsters 7 inch scale figure. Ooh, there's also Rodan and Mothra. But yeah, this is the Godzilla figure right here. Cannot wait to open and review this one. Love me some Godzilla. Cannot wait for this movie. I saw that whole clip that they played at IMAX and oh my freaking god. When I saw Avengers Endgame at IMAX, I went to see that. You know, seeing that trailer was just absolutely. Ooh, jeez, King Ghidorah, man. And then we have the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter Blanca right there. If you guys want to see this reviewed, please let me know in the comment section below. This is something I've really been looking forward to, though. I personally really want this one quite a bit. I always liked playing Blanca, like at the beginning of my early, my earliest days of playing Street Fighter. And then, ooh, sick! Oh man! Whoa, this is monstrous. I didn't know this was going to be that freaking huge. But this is the Predator movies Armored Assassin. Wow. And I already have the first Predator, the Fugitive Predator figure. So, yeah, you can see the Fugitive Predator right here on the back. Oh, man, that is freaking cool. I have not, st I have still not seen this movie. I really want to. It's just tough. You know, the Char lovely Charlotte one has not wanted to watch it. And then. I tried to red box it and they didn't have any more, so I'm going to definitely watch the movie and then review this figure, so stay tuned for that as well. And I think that is everything that is in here. Yeah, that's all of that. So that's all good stuff, so expect reviews of everything that you guys just saw right over here. Uh, again, you know, even if you're not in the mood for buying anything right now, just take a gander at the website. I think they're very cool. They have a cool... Uh, uh, they have a cool rewards points program over there, and they keep track of you know your purchases, and you can use those points to get uh, free stuff. So I think that's really cool. All right, so link in the description below for that. And again, if you want to send your letters and artwork, please go ahead and do so at Shardimus Prime, PO Box three eight four, Pacifica, California nine four zero four four. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.